Gentlemen, we can't dissociate ourselves from the shame of being idealized as perpetrators by women by retorting not all men each time women revolt against sexual and gender-based violence. We are not being honest about the systemic hatred for women indoctrinated upon us by our cultures, media, religions, and political class stiffly perpetrated by egocentric patriarchal worldviews. Not all men is a dilapidated defense mechanism meant to absolve ourselves from the scourge of sexual and gender-based violence, largely sustained by men our kind, men in the Americas, men in India, men in Africa, men in Australia, we are the reigning terror, flooding misfortune and bodily harm upon women's rights and dignity. Any time we reduce a woman's harm or death caused by her male partner or rapist or assailant by shouting, not all men, we are being hypocritical by insinuating we are not part of the problem. Yet our silence automatically will suggest that we are complicit to these heinous vices. How many women kill women on this earth? How many women kill men on this earth for refusing their sexual advances? What are the leading causes of men's suicide and murder of men and who, according to numbers, perpetrates them? Women have been holding space for us. They put aside their needs to cater to our insecurities, yet they can't even feel safe with us when we are at our healthiest. Always on the lookout for signs of danger, even in their homes. Heck, men in the Democratic Republic of Congo, to Libya, to northern Uganda, have been atrociously raped by male army soldiers who meant to humiliate them before their families. So this has nothing to do with sex, but everything to do with power. Of course, many men are raped, harmed, and battered by their female spouses and girlfriends and other women. But if we truly care about them, we must be intentional about opening specific forums to discuss the realities of these happenings dissecting the possible causes and thinking of solutions. We cannot bring this up to silence and shame women for speaking up against violence meted upon one of them as an equalizer. It is escapist and murderous. Do we see ourselves outside the lenses of violence? This is where the struggle is. We believe that a man is synonymous to dominance and taking up space. So anyone who attempts to challenge this and worse off they be a woman is severely punished. We shall not point at the aggressor but shame the victim even in their death. Even in their death, guys. Like someone has been killed but we are happier to spit on their graves than ask why their killer had to kill them regardless of the circumstances they met. That is sick.